Wow, I like that. Mm -hmm. Back on New Jersey today on the New Talk Radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Special in-studio guest is Jody Joseph, who was here with us. And you just heard her right there uh, covering the uh, classic uh, song Ball and Chain. Uh, and, of course, she's doing her show uh, coming up on Saturday night at the Strand Theater in Lakewood. Uh, the music of Stevie Nicks and, uh, and Janis Joplin. And, then boy, she, she goes uh, deep into the, uh, the playlist, if you will, uh, to uh, cover the, those songs there. It just does a great job with those. And, again, congratulations. Uh, first, uh, Don uh, from North Brunswick and Tom from Helmetta. You guys were the random callers. We're going to give away another couple of pairs of tickets uh, coming up in just another few, a few minutes here if you want to win. Uh, but if you want to say hello to our special in-studio guest, uh, Jody Joseph, who was here with us, 732 545 WCTC or one eight 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 five four five WCTC. Uh, Jody, talk about you. Talk about uh, yourself uh, as an artist, and uh, let, let's get to know a little bit about you. Oh, that's. Boring. I got your name. <laughs> I got your name. <laughs> but, on, tell all. <laughs> tell all time, Jody. <laughs> um, what do you want to know? You come from some good pedigree. Right. You got some some pretty famous uh, folks that are also uh, doing the music thing. I, I, one I do about John Bon Jovi, of right. course, and your relation to him is. Uh, First cousin. Your father and his father right. and brothers? Is that kind of how it worked out? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, when they say about talent, I yeah. always tease about that, that I'm older than him. So mm. if it runs in the family, then I... You got it first. Well, he, well, he, obviously, he learned everything from you then, obviously. Right. So, he just got you know. a little more lucky. Yeah. No. <laughs> but... Um, Did you guys know growing up that he, he had potential to... I don't, you know, I... I I think that, you know, I remember him practicing in the basement when we come over the house and yeah. stuff. Yeah, okay. So, you know, but it, it, back then, it, you know, everybody was playing in bands and right. that kind of mm -hmm. thing. It's like, ah, John and his yeah. band, uh, Mr. Rock and Roll yeah. down in the basement again. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. right. And also, I had no idea that uh, you're also related to the legendary opera singer Mario Lanza. What's, mm -hmm. what's the connection to him? My mother's father, my grandfather, okay. was his cousin. So oh, wow. So some, somewhere I had that blood rolling around the jeans. That's good lineage. Yeah. Good lineage. Maybe he started yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, really. Right? <laughs> and of course, I have to mention my, um, the late uh, Bobby Hedges, Robert Hedges. Oh, wow. From Welcome Back Hot. Oh, yeah, He's okay. my first cousin. Oh, no kidding. Son. Yeah, it was all over. It just, you know, every, you know, just hasn't, you know, been landing completely in my lap, but oh, right, I'm very, right. very grateful for what I've got. He was from, uh, from a touching, right? He was uh, from, uh, from Middlesex yes. sex also, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. okay. He passed last year. So right, right. Suddenly. It was, it was sad. So uh, talk about uh, growing up and, uh, and your love of music and, uh, and what, what got you into this? My mother. Yeah? Yeah. She pushed me. She keeps pushing me. Yeah? Oh, no. To this well, day, I, yeah? <laughs> no, I mean, my mom was, um, she just, I always was the one singing at the family picnics and the barbecues and you know I was always the one dancing mm -hmm. and she said why don't you as I got older she said why don't you put yourself together with my brother's friend Willie to do a duo thing and that's how it started so I was like I guess I was around 18 wow. at the time okay you know so I've been doing that for six years okay so that's the beginning and end of that right right so, who'd you who'd you listen to <laughs> six years who did you? you didn't get that Bert, oh, I got no, it. he forgot oh, it but he was it. quiet like, where am I going with this yeah, yeah. really um, so you know I, I just kind of really loved it and they there's an expression that when you get bit by the bug yeah and I just m must have got swarmed by a bunch of wasps because right. it wasn't gonna go away I tried different things it just kept coming back and um, I had some great opportunities in my life um, the unmentionable when I went out is my give God given name uh, Jody Bon Jovi and I was out there on the road, I did some touring, mm -hmm. but you know, the, to ride on the coattails of a successful cousin is a little, it's harder than um, just falling on your own face because you just didn't make it. Right, so, right. Mm -hmm. So when I came back out again, I had some great, I, I worked with some amazing songwriters. I was signed to Warner Chapel uh, for my songwriting. I was signed to Scott Welch that managed Alanis Morissette at the height of her career. So I was, you know, I was actually within all that good wow. stuff going on. I did a record and, and um, uh, but it, when I come back out again, I didn't want to lose my father's name, so I took Joseph, and okay. that's his first name. So okay. that's hence Jody Joseph was born. Very cool. So that's how they came about. Okay. And I've had a lot of journeys musically, and been to Nashville uh, to write with some great writers, like I said. Um, and then as my songwriting was developing, I realized that I was having these conversations, so to speak, as I call them, with God. Mm. And so I wrote some spiritual stuff, and I put out a spiritual record. Wow. And that's this one here. So, okay. Um, 
That's, can you see that guy? Yeah, I see yeah. that. Yeah. Hold that. Wait, do you want to see that? Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, I, I have this. It's it, the places I've been through my music have been amazing. The yeah. journey has been great. I'm very blessed with it. And one of the things that I actually do now is I teach singing and performing. Awesome. And I mentor them. And they have an opportunity to be a part of what I do and open for me. And, yeah. And good stuff. It sounds like a lot of great life experiences, it sounds like, that you, you, yeah, you sort of translate into music. Yeah. Look, when you're doing something you love for work, mm -hmm. then you are truly blessed. That's true. Mm -hmm. say you never work a day, a day in, in your, your life. life. Yeah, you and I feel jobs, the same right? way. And yeah. I'm not saying that it's not hard, because that would be a really, that would be diminishing what it I do. Hard. It absolutely mm -hmm. is hard. You know, sure. right now I really, really hate some of the stuff that I'm going through before the show. It's okay. just hard. It's mm -hmm. just, you worry so much that everything's going to go right. And, and, and you know, it's like the, you hate that part of it, that mm -hmm. fear of uh, everything running smooth. You know, I when my students, my students, I always call them, I, I've become the musical mom to 62 students. Mm -hmm. Wow. Regardless of their age. And when they hurt or they're upset, then it, you know, then it affects me. And, yeah. you know, I care about them. But the things I'm teaching them more, I always say I don't teach I don't teach necessarily singing as much as I teach confidence. Mm. And to, that they, they have that confidence in themselves to go forward and have something that's their own. Of and that's course. what's given me. I mean yeah. I know one thing for sure that you know, that I have that I have this, I have my music. Mm -hmm. You know. And as as a performer, of course, you're like you know you want the show to be flawless. You know people work hard for their money. Entertainment choices. There's a lot of them out there. But if yep. someone's going to spend their money to come see Jody Joseph, you want to make sure they they have a good time and go home happy. Of course. Yeah, I, that's it means that much to you. And well, that's great. That's good. You know, I I um have this on actually Facebook right now where the ad is running, which yes. is a little um uh, commercial, so to speak. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's so ironic to me because there's all these hits and everybody's liking it and it's just great. And, you know, there's just got to be one person out there that just said a little tiny little, you know. Yeah. And, you know, they don't, people I don't think realize that all that other stuff just goes away. Right. And it's just, where do you live? I want to talk to you. Maybe I convince you. you know? <laughs> and it wasn't right. even bad. It was just, you know, it was but something that, you know, they didn't get it or that's whatever. That's the one but, that sticks yeah. with you, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah you know, yeah. when you get all these great people that... Uh, you know, you guys obviously, and then other people that are in the business, and uh, obviously the um, director of uh, the Strand Theater can't wait to see the show. And he's, you know, he's been an actor for years, and right. You know, you get all these people saying it's wonderful, and it's not just my mother saying it. You know, it's just people. <laughs> right. and then you get this some and your some, daughter, yeah, you know, and this <laughs> and this somebody from I don't know where, what town just decides to say something that just and I you know just it crumbles you, and yeah. that's how you know. That you're still, I'm always going to be an artist. See, yeah, right. you know, it's that's not, true. It's not like you know, black and white, where you know, it's like, well, the numbers going to come in, Jim. You know, it's right, like right. It's, it's your art. It's, exactly, and I mean, it's people are going to like you, and people are going to not like you, but that's how it works. That's that's called uh, the that, that's yeah, being that's a performance. Is. Exactly, mm -hmm. it's entertainment, right? And there's just a hundred billion shades of gray to that because yeah. it's so, you know, you you, I I keep saying you like you, but. I open myself up to that, mm -hmm. and that's the hardest thing for anyone to do because you open yourself up to the public, mm -hmm. and then it can just crumble down. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah it goes right to the heart. All right, one th mm -hmm. one thirty six on New Jersey today on the New Talk Radio WCTC. We'll come back and wrap up our special segment with Jody Joseph uh, when we come back. But right now, let's send a couple of other people to the show uh, this Saturday night at the Strand Theater in Lakewood. Tickets are on sale now if you go to strand.org. But we're going to once again take two random callers at seven three two. 545 WCTC or 1 545 WCTC. And uh, we'll hook you up with a pair of tickets for the show this coming Saturday night, 8 o'clock. Uh, the music of Stevie Nicks and Janis Joplin performed uh, by Jody Joseph. Like it says, one diva, one legend. One woman, and this is an incredible show that we want to give you the chance to win some tickets to right now. So again, we'll take two random callers. If you didn't get through and win last time, give it a try now. 732-545-WCTC or 1-888-545-WCTC. We'll come back and wrap up our, our little special segment here with Jody Joseph, and we'll do that for you coming up next.